Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. All right, please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. Okay, on Cyrus Says, we meet Ramnik Singh from Jammu and Kashmir all the way to Mumbai telling us stories about love, hate, anger, sadness, desolation, isolation, but no masturbation. I don't know why. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows? Yep, on Cyrus Says, the other big problem I've had this week is uh, cell phones. And let me tell you my issue about cell phones. If you're sweating and you're passing your cell phone to somebody else, please wipe the cell phone first. It's quite disgusting because in this kind of heat that we have now as the rains uh, subside, uh, people tend to sweat while talking. Don't put your sweat on the phone and give it to me. It's very unfair. And then when I put it onto speaker, don't feel offended because there's no way I can touch that phone again. So please, everybody out there, we have to live in better conditions in our country. I know a lot of people are poor and can't afford cell phones, but we can't think about them at a time like this. We need to just clean the cell phone and pass it to the right person and then allow them to speak. It's called Cyrus Says. And that's what Cyrus Says. All right, let's meet Ramnik Singh here on uh, the show called Cyrus Says. Ramnik, welcome to our show. Thank Let me so tell you, this is a great show. Just because we don't have much <laughs> listenership doesn't mean it's not a good show. One I'm day sure when we are both dead, show. people are going to talk about this episode and say Ramnik Singh was there. I'm and you sure. must listen to it. <laughs> so please sure. do your best. Do not feel any pressure, but do your best. I'll quickly begin by just explaining a little bit about your past. You are from Jammu and Kashmir. Which of course is a contentious area We'll come to all that Ramnik started your career with NDTV yeah. For Nice Letters And uh, after sitting in Dr. Pranav Roy's lap for two years And uh, playing with his hair You said enough, both <laughs> I need to find my life You moved to Mumbai And you started working in a digital agency Which is a conventional job And then you started featuring the poetry open mics Which happened in the city And then we'll move on to the rest of your life But let's go back to Jammu and Kashmir yeah. So you were born in Shinagar Jammu, Jammu in Jammu proper, okay. And this was what what part of your uh, 1980s? 1989. You were born in 89? <laughs> You're a child of the of it all. Right in the yes. middle. <laughs> oh God. So then, uh, is the family still there in Jammu? Yes, yes. My parents oh, okay. live there only. Do you get to Most visit? Most of the family. Yes, I do. And do you go to Kashmir also? Yes, my sister lives in Kashmir. Do you speak Kashmiri? Uh, very rarely. Huh? And, yeah. I understand. I understand all of it. Alright, okay. Anything on the experience of growing up in Jammu? What was it like? It was usual, it was normal. Yeah. Um, uh, other than the curfews and uh, strikes in colleges, that's all. Uh, nothing much. I don't have any vivid memories of anything. Okay, but nothing bad. No nothing bad, bad incidents, no friends. Yes, who, of course. Do yes. you have any friend who became a you know, terrorist or joined one of these? But I do have friends who uh, who I don't know of now. Like, they moved to Srinagar and Kashmir. and uh, So what happens is sometimes uh, you, you, you read a list of people who are now disappeared. Because that's what army tells you That they're disappeared That they're not dead So oh. And then you read Some names They Similar to the names you, you used to know As your classmates Once upon a time My god So yeah that's That kind of uh, <laughs> How sad So you remember These little kids You once played cricket Or football yeah, with them And all that And cut to many years later And they disappeared As you put it Yes yes For whatever reason Such is life And hence you became a poet yeah. Now what I find uh, Extremely interesting is Ramni You're almost like the You started this poetry Open mics in Mumbai. No, no, I used to curate poetry. I didn't start any poetry open mics. Okay. Uh, so when I joined Hive, uh, I, I used to curate Big Mike for some time, for six months. And well, I, I want to ask you, uh, when I was growing up in St. Xavier's College, this is many years ago. Uh, this is just before, the I think, the British left when I was in college many, many years ago. <laughs> and uh, I don't think many guys would do poetry. You know, it was looked upon, I, I don't know how to yes. put this without being rude or anything, but it was more like the ladies who did the poetry mm -hmm. and the guys who become rock singers, yeah, musicians and that kind of thing. I can't, I'm trying to remember, but not too many guys were into it. But now, obviously, poetry is a very happening thing and there are all kinds of people from all over who are interested in doing it. So tell us, how did you become a poet? Where did Ramnik, growing up in Jammu, when did you I have no idea. I mean, I have no clear memory of when I started writing exactly. I remember... Koi urinal pe likha tha shayad. Nahin, nahin, nahin. Your first time. So, in our college, there was a magazine in the school. So, it was in the standard. So, everyone was sending something. They were sending a poem, a story. I thought that everyone was sending something to themselves. Because it was supposed to be original. But it was original. But it was original. 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 So, I thought that everyone was writing something. I would write it. So hmm. I started writing some. I wrote something down and then gave it to the uh, submitted it in the uh, admin administration office. 
एंड इट गॉड पब्लिशन मेरा टीचर पूछे कि तुम uh, तुमने लिखा है ओरिजिनली सब लाइक क्या तो मेरे को बाद में लगा कि uh, uh, किसी ने भी ओरिजिनल नहीं लिखा था सबने इधर उसे लिखा था और मैं अकेला था जिसने लिखा और वो बहुत ही घटे मतलब ए इंसान तू हो गया है बेईमान करने लगा है बुरे बुरे काम चला जाएगा शमशान मतलब आई डोंट हैव दैट्स ओनली थिंग आई रिकलेक्ट फ्रॉम व्हेन आई रोज एट स्टैंडर्ड दिस वाज योर पोएट्री यू ऑलरेडी लुकिंग डार्क देन इन 11th टू 12th स्टैंडर्ड व्हेन आई केम टू नो व्हाट व्हाट आर्म्ड फोर्सेस स्पेशल पावर्स एक्ट इज व्हाट curfew means what army means what oppression is what article 370 is so the thing is my start happened from there like i didn't i my first poem was not a love poem and uske baad kafi arse tak ye chalta tha ki agar main even if i would try to write a love poem wo ja ke border ke pas khadi ho jati thi matlab something what conflict would always, always creep into my poem but so, that isn't that true of many artists that they cannot allow the background to disappear the background always stays, stays there, there like, you can't run and just create some fake area yeah that's so, true so that's always there ओके सो योर यू स्टिल अ यंग किड योर इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ के सत्रह अठारह साल का लड़का है एंड वे मोस्ट ऑफ द गाइस आर मॉन्ट इन जस्ट चेसिंग गर्ल्स नो योर राइटिंग सॉर्ट ऑफ डार्क पोएट्री अबाउट द टाइम यू लिविंग इन एंड टू फाइंड रोमांस इन द मिडल ऑफ अ टेरेबल वॉर जोन विच इज कश्मीर एट दैट पॉइंट जे एन के एस सो सो आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट उसका ये भी था कि अगर आप बीच में रहते हैं तो आपका ओपिनियन बाइस हो जाता है ना थोड़ी सी दूरी पर अगर बीच में रहता है मतलब इन द मिडल ऑफ द टर्म ऑयल बिकॉज यू हैव टू टेक साइडिविटी ऑब्जेक्टिविटी ओके गॉड इट अगर आप मैं जम्मू में थोड़ा सा दूर हूँ तो आपको ट्रेमर्स महसूस होते हैं तो आप थोड़ा सा दूर रहकर इसको सफाई से देख सकते हैं Nothing. I wanted to be a journalist, but then there were a lot of assholes in my uh, in my institute who discouraged me. Huh. Like professors who told me that if you do reporting, people would not connect with you. If you say something on camera, they will not feel connected with you. So I I met these people who really really pushed me back. But what do they mean? We will not be connected with you. I mean, you are doing a Maybe, fake no, insincere media. No, 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 no. no. Uh, stereotyping. Like they thought that I wear a turban, so if I talk on a camera, no, yeah, that's that's what very literally, very uh, so precisely. Huh. Yeah. So my. one of my uh, mentors told me that if you take to reporting this will happen the most famous english uh, broadcaster was tejeshwar singh by yeah. the way uh, of the record. so that's huh. that's how huh. so it it did discourage me a lot but then uh, i moved to sandy so tv also <laughs> they actually sacked me so i came to <laughs> bombay dr pranoy roy <laughs> i am writing an open letter to you ramnik is a man of the arts and no one can sack him uh. i know but then Yeah, they had a rightful reason to sack me. Why? What did you do? You started a, a riot <laughs> no, or something? No, no, no. Okay, this is like very. Really, I don't know. Union, if it should union. come on. It should go on air or not? But there was this small fire incident happened. <gasps> so I just like I was just playing with this matchbox. I was not playing with the matchbox. There was this matchbox lying on the table, and I just started started like scratching the stick with against the box. Oh. And I was talking to this girl, and randomly I just threw that stick. It it got lit. So nine out of ten but times that, it but gets. But that's an accident. It's an accident because nine out of ten times it gets it extinct. Nothing happens. Ah, nothing happens. Oh. I threw it in the dustbin. Assuming कि बुझ जाएगा वो नहीं बुझा मैं नीचे चला गया इट कैप्ट ऑन स्मोल्डरिंग फॉर सम टाइम एंड आई इट लिटिल फायर यू आर द मैन ऑफ ब्लू अप एन डी टीवी यार आप में कुछ है आप में कुछ है नो नो सो इट जस्ट लाइक फॉर सम टाइम यू लेव जम्मू एंड ऑल द फायर देयर इन जे एंड के यू केम टू डेली आई एम टेलिंग यू इट वाज वेरी ट्रॉमा सो द कारपेट गॉट बर्न डस्टबिन गॉट चार्ड दैट्स ऑल दैट्स ऑल एंड देन बट इज इट एक्सीडेंट इज एन एक्सीडेंट इट इज एन एक्सीडेंट Those, so how I was so framed they insinuated in this was, that you are trying to do some mischief. Something, but no, no, no. They insinuated that I was trying to kill people. Someone came and said it could have been a genocide. You wanted to kill people who were sitting inside, and so why so not? You, I, and then, I know the news is rubbish. Yeah, I also work in the news. And then what channel, they offered me was that you know you can go ahead and file a suit against it and still continue your job. They were being me. I was being paid fourteen thousand rupees, and then huh. then they asked me to file a suit against uh, NDTV. So they can create news. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. You've got yeah. a very interesting life here. So, yeah. NDTV. After that, you move to Mumbai. I worked in another digital agency for six, seven months hmm. called NBS. They used to make content for Yahoo, and then and we know where Yahoo went, but it's been bought over now. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a good sign. <laughs> so, there, I, well, I was about to go to Jammu. What, what about the poet? The what happened to the poet? Poetry. So, uh, in no, college, then what happened? Because now you are in a digital again. You're back into these jobs, or you have to do yeah. other things. Poetry takes a back seat. Yeah, you're still. No, no. So it. that's the thing. Poetry co- is the only consistent thing. Oh. इट कीप्स हैपनिंग इट कीप्स बिकॉज देर आर कभी क्या होता है कि आप देर आर टाइम्स यू टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड्स यू कन्फाइड इन टू दैम बट देर टाइम्स आर थिंग्स विच यू वॉन्ट टू यू नो होल्ड ऑन टू आप नहीं सब कुछ नहीं बताना चाहते वो जो नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट यू टेल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड दैट वन परसेंट यू विच यू कैन नॉट टेल दैम यू ट्राई टू फाइट 
कागज पे शायद तो बहुत सारी बातें होती हैं जो पोर्ट्री में बताते हैं लेकिन कुछ बातें ऐसी होती हैं जिनके लिए आप फिर मेटाफर्स ढूंढते हैं सब एक बात बताओ सॉरी टू इंटर अगर मेरे गंदे माइंड में इफ आई थिंक लाइक दैट इफ आई पुट इट ऑन टू पेपर आई थिंक इट विल बी वेरी डेंजरस इन द फायर एंड एनडी टीवी आई थिंक एज लॉन्ग एज योर इज मोर अबाउट रोमांस एंड द सिचुएशन बैक होम इट्स अ लिटिल डिफरेंट हां But uh, again, so, sorry to interrupt you. But you are now back in an uh, agency doing a normal job. No, I'm not doing a job now. I, I'm I'm supposed to join uh, work now. Uh, no, Very I mean soon. I mean when you come to Mumbai in oh, 2012. Yes, yes, yes. So you're doing a normal job. So what do you do about poetry? Poetry still happens, but then I start looking for places I can go and read my poetry. I find right. Pri- Kafirati so where, in Prithvi. Where did you go first? So I found Kafirati uh, in Prithvi Theatre. Okay. I went and formed Kafirati. From right. there, I went to another group called Stone Soup. From there, I found Big Mike at the Hive. I went to. I was trembling when I went inside. Entered the Hive because I thought it's a Bandra place. All fancy people. Yeah. All, and, artists. Uh, all artists. All artists. And you don't be yeah. with artists because <laughs> they don't want to give you any credit. You know, we're all competitive people. Yes, huh. and then when I. Uh, Read my poem in that open mic. I so they used to judge then. So I I came judge first. Judge? Ah, there were competition. Yeah, competition. Oh. So and you came sorry, first. Yeah, I came first, oh. and it gave me some confidence. Who was the judge? So they choose three people from the audience only. Arey, yeah. that's nonsense. Who are these three people? <laughs> yeah, and I need to vet these guys first. So do you remember the poem that made you a sort of a star in hive when you said it? I do. It's it's it's. And it's, all the others have to give original. Uh, original. original. You have to have original okay. poem. So can, can we hear it? Can we hear the? A bit yeah. of it, or one verse. Yeah, it's no, it's not. A, I don't. So I, I don't write in um, haiku, a ghazal, or it's a free verse and it's like a spoken word. So I, I do spoken word in Hindustani, which is not usually. What does that mean? Means free verse in so dialogue you, style. Yeah, no, no, no. When you see see the Hindi poetry and the Urdu poetry, mostly has been written in very uh, in in meters and correct. A B B C C C M C B C. Man, bolo. And then performance also. <laughs> so I used to perform poetry okay. in, in 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 Hindi language or Hindustani, so I, as I call it. Okay. So I, I what is the difference between Hindustani and Hindi language? So Hindi, Hindi is very Hindi. Hindi is very uh, purest. It's like huh. utkrist and words like which huh. you wouldn't understand. But there's more. I don't understand. Huh. Hindustani is the language of Indian films, colloquial. colloquial language, Achha. which we talk. जब हम लोग हिंदी में बात करते हैं, आसान शब्द, आसान से आसान शब्द. Yeah, so here I go. So this is a poem about. Uh, it's called Jhelum only. It was about uh, <laughs> the river. Oh, back, back home. Back home. Oh. Afspa and a friend's regret. Uh, and it's an imagined narrative uh, that once he tried to stop his friend from pelting stone at an army vehicle, and now he's in there, and then he's his regret. So it started like this: "Ki main nahi hu tum par tum sahun bahut." मैं नहीं हूं तुम पर तुम सा हूं बहुत तुम्हारे जख्म दिखते हैं मुझे अपनी लाचारी पे हंसता भी हूं पर पत्थर हाथ में ही रह जाता है और मुहाफिज निकल जाता है सरकारी किसी तश्तरी में बैठकर अपनी आंखों में लिए फतह की चमक अपने बच्चों को सुनाने अपनी दलेरी के किस्से के गायब कर आया हूं दो और चेहरे पड़ोसी से मालूम हो रहे थे जब से कुछ खास ताकतें आता हुई हैं तफ्तीश में वक्त जया नहीं करते मन किया करते हैं मैं नहीं हूं तुम पर तुम सा हूं बहुत इसलिए तुम ऐसा नहीं करोगे ये तुम में और खुद में फर्क खत्म करना चाहते हैं तुम्हारे हाथों में बंदूक नहीं आंखों में इंतकाम देखना और बस जारी कर दिए जाएंगे फरमान इकरा उतरेंगे जमीन पर काले बाज और सुबह होते होते तुम्हें गुमशुदा करार दे दिया जाएगा तुम्हारी हर एक आह मुझे जख्मी छोड़ जाती है मैं मर जाता हूं कुछ पल के लिए मान लेता हूं मर चुका हूं बहुत अरसा पहले का मैं नहीं हूं तुम पर तुम सा हूं बहुत इसलिए टक टक की लगाकर जब तुम्हारी अम्मी मेरी और देखती हैं कि शायद मेरे पास तुम्हारी कोई खबर होगी तो नजरें बचाकर निकल लेता हूं सामने से मुसलसल यही अफसोस करते हुए कि अगर यही होना था अंजाम तो गोली क्यों ना चलाई तुमने और फिर सबसे नजरें चुराकर झेलम से कहता हुआ निकल जाता हूं कि अजहर का ख्याल रखना उसकी अम्मी तुम्हें दुआएं देगी My God, oof! <laughs> there goes my comedy for the show. <laughs> so you're almost like a bridge between uh, what's happening there and, yeah. and you know, spreading peace and understanding in a sort of way. Yeah. But are, are these based on real stories? This Azhar was course, a real no, guy. No, uh, of course. Like there are ten thousand, thousands of Azhars okay. who do. But uh-huh. I don't. I can't exactly take names of. Right. So you, that's what I'm saying. It's an imagined narrative. But this but has happened. But the way you spoke so fluently right now is obviously some. This kind of poem is coming right from inside. Yeah, yeah. Not even one course, yes. second of hesitation. You can't. I have trouble with Mary had a little lamb. lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Or us ke baad Mary ka kuch hua. I'm not sure. <laughs> so my free verse is different. True. Absolutely. Well, how do people take to this kind of thing? Because I think in India, a lot of people run away from anything which is slightly heavy, slightly, slightly truthful. Your poem seems to be very truthful. You know, people were more interested in the comic stuff and silly stuff. So that's the thing. You start the trend. You you start a culture like people then want to hear more because they have not been given this kind of content before. They have newspapers. They have news channels. You know, yeah. news anchors who are there sitting we, there. We, right? we are now basically running comedy shows. You know yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Nine yeah. o'clock. Tune true. in. Yeah. That's true. That's huh. true. Totally. So uh, when you have a poem who, which has come from the land and talking about that land. You want to hear more, and you connect a bit also, and that's why. Do non-Kashmiris, non people, non-Jammu Kashmiri people also connect? 
Yes. Can an Aam Aadmi guy from Mumbai also feel? Yes, know? yes, they do. That's what encouraged me, man. Bombay uh, uh, people in, in this city are are beautiful. Like they are like beautiful souls. They they understand you. They they just listen to your poetry. They they connect with the poetry. They want to hear more. They 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 are. They, so people used to come and ask me, talk to me, and then uh, it's 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 a first hand narrative, right? And. Uh, and i always and it seems very truthful and it's honest it's yeah, an honest yes, poem yes yes a poem has to be honest yeah. like if it's not honest you'll know ki you know so what do you think i, I know it's a difficult question to ask a poet but aapko kya lagta hai when you have these kind of people who who poetry is more like a showing off sort of meter yeah. where they just want to use big words and you know try to show off their language skills well you're talking more like you're talking from your heart and just talking it's yeah. a little different the whole style so what do you think of those the people who make create the kind of poetry which is far more colorful and all that but perhaps not real not truthful या बिकॉज आई आई ऑल्सो बिलीव आर्ट जो है कला जो है उसको इट हैज़ टू स्पिल ऑन टू द स्ट्रीट्स लेकिन उसको बाहर आना चाहिए मतलब इट शुड भी नीच नहीं होना चाहिए और उसको क्लासेस में नहीं बटना चाहिए एवरी वन शुड हैव एक्सेस टू आर्ट लेकिन देखिए ना मतलब आर्ट मतलब हम लोग खुद ही क्लासीफाई कर लेते हैं कितने लोग हैं जो पेंटिंग को अप्रिशिएट करना जानते हैं कितने लोग हैं जो पोइट्री को अप्रिशिएट करना जानते हैं हम लोग को हमारा बेंट ही वैसा नहीं है हमको बचपन से वैसा सिखाया ही नहीं गया कि मतलब पोइट्री को अप्रिशिएट किया जाता है पेंटिंग कलर्स क्या सिंपल सी बात है पेंटिंग को मैं कैसे अप्रिशिएट करवाऊँ और हमको मालूम नहीं है कि क्या कौन सा कलर क्या डिनोट करता है वॉल इन दाउस इज ऑल्सो नॉटिशिएटेड सो आई थिंक एक तो that urban india at least i'm saying is not so interested in as you say art not just poetry no i think uh, there's a great flux of uh, people who are appreciating it who are coming to is it seen the poetry scene nobody used to come to uh, poetry events now there are uh, so i i am member of this club called the poetry club mumbai and uh, they have sessions every month uh, they curate poetry and poets are getting paid now everywhere uh, do they have tennis courts body courts and gymnasium <laughs> an open bar Because that's <laughs> a good club. Huh. <laughs> they don't know. So th- is this poetry club growing? Yes, yes. And young people coming in. Young people have started it. Young people are coming in. A lot of them. There is a almost a, uh, they have a, a poets base of seven hundred plus poets, wow. which is like okay. phenomenal. And and uh, do you can you actually make money? I mean, it's a terrible thing to ask. Also, because I understand you're trying to talk from your heart. No, it's no, no. Money. We can. Totally But how ask. do you survive? I no. If you want wants to be a poet, then we'll come to you personally. But if anybody generally, out there, huh, one you have to be really, really hai. good. You have to be. Really, you can't escape that. You have okay. to be really good. Okay. You no, know? because when you give me a word, I'll make a poem. <laughs> I'll show you how good I am. Damni, don't laugh. Give me a word. Grin. No, Hindi me de do. Hindustani Hindi me de do. Ah. Uh, de do, boy. De do. Don't worry. My name is Hari. <laughs> I'm just practicing. Okay. Uh, Give me a big word. Big word. Huh. Matlab, there aren't any big words. Big, big, uh, big. But, 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 difficult. You know, mm-hmm. difficult. Muskil. 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 Cutting. Muskil. Hey, dil. Hey, muskil. Jina ya. Chera hardke, chera bachke. Ye hai Mumbai meri jaan. Nice, very nice. Thanks, hey. brother. My original. By the book, you can check it. My original poem. Sir, yeah, but I, I'm I'm very intrigued. I'm thinking when I was in New York, there used to be a lot of these guys who used to just recite on the spot, and yeah, uh, yeah. you know, you remind me of them. You know, lot of heart and no fear. They would just say their poem, whether there's one person listening or hundred. They would yeah. just try to connect, you know, because yes. they really wanted to connect. That's what art should do, I believe. Yeah. That's what poetry should do now. That's why I did not uh, choose to go by A B C B B B C B A B B C because when you classify art ko classify karte hain, तो आप एक छोटा सा डिस्कनेक्ट ले आते हैं मतलब कि बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू बी जैसे आप सामने सुन रहे हैं मेरे को मैं आप पढ़ रहा हूँ तो मतलब आपको ये नहीं लगना चाहिए कि अरे ये कोई है और मैं मतलब उन्हीं आसान सरल शब्दों में अगर आप वही उतनी गहरी बात कह सकते हैं आई थिंक चैलेंज मुश्किल शब्द इस्तेमाल करके बड़े बड़े हैवी जार्गन अभी गूगल भी है Huh. Like, like, can do that. You just go onto Google and just do everything, which I'm not saying you do. Huh? No, <laughs> I don't joking. do that. But I'm saying yeah. it. So I, I, I would never subscribe, subscribe to that idea of no, using think, jargons and writing a very Ramik, fancy. We'll poem. take a quick break. Then we'll come back. There's lots more to talk about, especially about how you have a career now. Because I think this is a very unusual story yes. of a person, a young lad from Jammu, who comes and now finds his way into Bombay and is actually in a thriving poetry scene. Maybe this is the generation that takes poetry forward. Yes. When we come back, the modern day Huck, Iqbal, and Mantu. All rolled into one. Ramnik Singh. Hello. 
I am man, I'm a huge fan of the indie music scene in our country. A scene that's relatively underground, even though it sometimes speaks its head overground. But there's no shortage of talent, and I get the privilege of interviewing some of the most awesome musicians on my show. I've had the likes of Euphoria, Kirsch Kale, Hardcore, Randolph Coria. I've had singer-songwriters, folk singers, electronic music producers, playback singers, rappers, fusion artists, instrumentalists, classical musicians, and so on. Whether mainstream or not, these people have chosen to release their original music, and these are the people currently Currently shaping the direction in which our music scene is heading. Join me on my show every Monday and tune in to discover the unique talent coming out of India today. You can catch Made in India on your favorite podcasting app or our very own IBM podcast app. Dominic Singh is live back with us here, and uh, we are going to discuss another poem uh, on section three seventy seven, which yeah. is a personal issue with you and which you want to talk about. No, no fair enough. Give voice, young poet. So this poem is called Samvidhan, which means constitution. Uh, here it goes. कि तुम मैं संविधान और कच्ची सी एक रस्सी साथ बैठते हैं कुछ बहस बाकी है तुम मैं संविधान और कच्ची सी एक रस्सी साथ बैठते हैं कुछ बहस बाकी है तुम काला सा चश्मा पहनकर हाथ में मोटी सी किताब पकड़ कर आना मैं तुम्हें सबके सामने बाबा साहब बाबा साहब कहूंगा तुम कहना आजादी के कोई दो पहलू नहीं होते आजादी टुकड़ों में नहीं मिलती आजादी तोहफे में नहीं मिलती आजादी सबको एक जैसी मिलती है तुम ये सब मत कहना लोग हंसेंगे तुम पर जैसे हंसते हैं मुझ पर सोचता हूं अपने आंसू छुपा लू सच किसी से ना कहूं पर नहीं कितना मुश्किल था क्या मजबूरी थी किसी को पास बिठा के पूछ लिया होता यहां तो पत्थरों से प्यार किया जाता है सांप से हवा से पानी से लकड़ी से तो इंसानों से क्यों नहीं मान लेते कुछ लोग अंधे पैदा होंगे मान लेते कुछ लोग अंधे पैदा होंगे मान लेते कुछ कुछ हैवान पैदा होंगे अगर नहीं समझ पाए तो कुछ इंसान पैदा होंगे जो नहीं पढ़ेंगे कायदे जो नहीं पहनेंगे मुखौटे जो अपनी हकीकत से सट कर रहेंगे तुम कब क्यों किसके कहने पर आ गए अंदर और बैठ के मेरे बिस्तर पर लिखने लगे कानून की धाराएं अच्छा अब जब आ ही गए हो तो अपनी इस किताब में ये भी लिख दो कि मेरी चादर का रंग कैसा हो मेरा तकिया कैसा हो सोते वक्त सर किस तरफ करना और बिस्तर की जमीन से ऊंचाई कितनी और जब बाहर जाओ तो जाते जाते ये लिखते जाना कि ये भारत का संविधान है ऐसे चले अन्यथा ना चले वाओ My God, it's amazing just how you flow. You, you, you're like amazing. I will hold you, you by the hand, Ramnik Singh. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, where did you? Uh, where was this poem? Where was this first uh, presented in Mumbai? <laughs> yes, in Mumbai. And what was the reaction? Great. Um, uh, it's like a controversial topic, huh? Yes, yes. But still, I mean, I, I told you the Bombay audience is very different from the. And the great thing is like a breath of fresh air because nobody is like you. I don't think I can't think of anyone like you. To be frank, so mm-hmm. nothing else. It's just something new, original, and fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So Ramnik let's talk about poetry as a, as a medium also. Uh you talk about these archaic laws, the irre- irrelevant constitutional practices. Uh, I won't get into that. I'm scared of the government, <laughs> I have to be honest. But uh, and of course Kashmir your home, you can never get away from that. It's always in the background and in your thoughts. But uh, how do you re- connect with other people? Okay, this is a very important part of who you are. But how do you connect with the young people, the people who are living in another world altogether in urban India and Bombay Delhi, you know, who don't see all this? How do you connect with these young guys who are into their fast cars and their uh, fashion and their new uh, apps and things like that? So I'm generally fascinated by people, color, character, ideas, uh, shades, and uh, how people are, how they talk, language. So I have a language fetish. So if you if you come and start talking to me, before I observe, before I understand what you're talking, I'll know how you're talking, and you know your language and your dialect. So. so i i i get fascinated so bombay is a city of fascination i get fascinated by language uh, how people walk how people talk their lingo their, their dressing style um, the different culture the cultures they're coming from like you have so when i was living in uh, the first time i shared my room with someone uh, hey ab gandi baat se chal raha hai at last i've been waiting on the show for something comical pg i was too heavy for me so i was taking a pg when i'm saying when i moved to a flat so uh, this guy was from bhopal this guy this guy are the poet to badal gaya mere samne wo from bhopal the other one is from uh, kerala and uh, like a moment this i story no huh. yeah yeah so sab jagah se log hain yahan pe aur uh, so do you, do you do that kind of lighter poetry at all as well yes, where you I talk do. about all this for example yeah so i have uh, I, i do observe city a lot so i have a poem called bhed kavi uh, oh yes well put <laughs> please go इट्स हाउ आई लुक एट द सिटी की रोज विरार से हाथ में काला बैग पकड़ कर आता है एक टूटा हुआ खाब जिसकी जिंदगी में उम्मीद के नाम पर सिर्फ अफसोस है 
सर से सर लगाकर चढ़ती उतरती भेड़े अंधेरी दादर से बोरीवली डोम्बीवली तक कदम से कदम मिलाकर सीढ़ियों पर चढ़ता झुंड जिसे पहुंचना है दफ्तरों में जाकर बैठना है कुर्सियों पर जिन पर कल कोई और बैठता था कल कोई और बैठेगा झुंड जिसे गुलामी का इतना शौक पड़ चुका है कि उनकी कहानी किसी पेंटिंग से कही जाए तो पेंटर थक जाएगा खींच के लकीरें गोल 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 और छोड़ देगा बनाकर एक मोटा सा गोला एक ही जगह पर घूमता दिशाहीन पहिया जिसे कहीं नहीं पहुंचना यही ख्याल है जिन तक नहीं पहुंचता है आसपास बहुत ऊंची इमारतें हैं शायद टकरा कर गिर जाता होगा कहीं अब कौन जाकर देखे इमारतों के उस पार पड़े उस टूटे जख्मी ख्याल को जिन तक पहुंचना चाहता था एक पचास साल तीस साल दिखने के जुनून में जब धीमी चलती लोकल से उतरने की कोशिश में गिरते गिरते बचता है तो अंदाजा लगा लेता है अगली मरतबा जवानी आजमाने की कोशिश नहीं करेगा और उसकी बीवी लॉ फूटने से पहले ही निकल आई बीमार बेटी का पता करने आई थी थोड़ा उसके साथ रोने थोड़ा हंसने थोड़ा धीमी आवाज में यह कहने के कुछ तो बर्दाश्त करना पड़ता अपना घर बचाने के लिए ये जानते हो कि कुछ तो मैं कर ही सकती थी और इन सब में एक भेड़ में ये सोचता हूं कि तिवारी अब बत्तीस हजार तनख्वाह लेता है और मेरी कविताएं लोग पैसे लेकर भी नहीं सुनते भेड़ बनने में क्या बुरा है कविताएं तो लिखी जा सकती हैं भेड़ कवि सुनने में इतना बुरा नहीं लगता Wow, fantastic! Tinjo sat is even in this one, but yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'm now getting an idea of you. There, there is a darkness definitely inside, but it's also it's very interesting how you observe everything and put it all together. As you said, background you can't escape it. You can't, right? escape, you can't it. escape it. No, but I like the truth, man. I, I think uh, after a long time we have someone here who is just speaking straight from you know without uh, trying to da- disguise words and hide yes. under different labels and things like that. Very amazing. चलो ठीक है नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग प्रैक्टिकलिटी भी एक चीज है लाइफ में यस यस वो प्रैक्टिकलिटी है कि आई आई सपोज इन द 90s इफ सम किड टोल्ड हिज पेरेंट्स आई वांट टू बी अ पोएट अनलेस ही कम फ्रॉम अ पोएट बैकग्राउंड अ पोएट्री बैकग्राउंड माय पेरेंट्स सरप्राइजिंगली आर वेरी सपोर्टिव माय डैड आई कांट आई एम लाइक ही सरप्राइजिंग एवरी टाइम सो लाइक वेरी रिसेंटली आई यूजिंग व्हाट्सएप फ्रॉम लिटरेरी बैकग्राउंड इज यस माय फादर इज अ बैंकर ही इज डन एलएलबी ही वाज दैट्स अ कॉर्पोरेट बैकग्राउंड It's a hardcore corporate background, okay? Banker, no, 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 government banker. He's a government banker. Okay, but, but he's he studied. Huh? He studied. Yeah, he studied uh, law from uh, I don't know where, but he was a uh, practicing lawyer in Delhi Bar Council. But he left and then went back to Jammu and started doing uh, started banking. Uh, so he started using WhatsApp last year. So say so he's so cute. He sends me mails on WhatsApp. He says, "Hey, dear Ramnik Singh." you know i hope you're fine and he'll write me long awesome. message and then in the end every every message ends with share your new poem share your new poem and he tells me that you're a very good poet you should continue this i long i can't even tell you short format yeah, yeah i just cannot tell you like he's so he's like so he, he his encouragement makes me like you know but i know that's very good and all that but what about the actual fact how does on one on i earn money so i tell you i do freelance jobs hmm. so i'm a trained filmmaker also okay yeah so i work with tve so tv is one constant client i have right. television for environment they uh, work out from based they are based out of london wow. and uh, the south asia office is in delhi so they give me assignments i travel to these places so they work they make films on climate change and gender issues so they i go out i travel so, so even the tv work you do is of some substance <laughs> you're not shooting nine mtv vjs in tight t-shirts <laughs> running around uh, i don't mind doing it see i'm telling you i'm i'm least skeptical about things happening i'm more about it's more about glorifying the good than uh, talking about the bad so come on ramnik singh let's talk since you're a man of opinions you're the person we should talk to about all kinds of things so what do you think of the the state of our country at the moment and what do you think of the state of kashmir i mean i think first thing we should do that we should just stop the news channels just stop them which they need to put an end to they're doing a disservice to the entire kashmir big, movement big time not the whole country the whole country because right now when the indian kashmir thing is happening or oh, sorry indian pakistan thing was happening the whole country's opinion was influenced by what media especially if i can take names yeah yeah mr goswami mr rohit sardana and sudhir choudhary all these people they bullshit so much like so much they like and when this uh, whole jnu case happened they aap ek hota hai jhoot bolna ek hota nazre mila ke jhoot bolna तो वो ये लोग वो काम करते हैं मतलब नजरे मिला के छाती ठोक के झूठ बोलते हैं मतलब हाउ वी सॉ हाउ आर मिनिस्टर फॉर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट स्मृति रानी शी ऑल्सो डू द सेम थिंग जज साहब मैं ऐसा 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 छाती ठोक के आंखों में आंसू भर के लोग ऐसा झूठ बोलते हैं मतलब इस तरह से झूठ बोलते हैं कि आप काम जाएंगे मतलब आप, आपको डर लगेगा कि मतलब और आपको मानने पर उस चीज़ मतलब हम और आप सोच सकते हैं मतलब क्योंकि हमारे पास थोड़ा सा डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पावर है लेकिन जो आदमी इतना बिकॉज मोस्टली लोग क्योंकि न्यूज है ना लोग आ रहे हैं हम न्यूज सुन रहे हैं न्यूज चल रहा है लोग अगर ये बात मान सकते कि नहर का पानी मीठा हो गया शुड नेम द न्यूज समथिंग एल्स वी शुड कम ऑन द कॉमेडी क्लासिफिकेशन देन इट्स ओके एग्जैक्टली सब चलेगा सब चलेगा बट एक बात है इसमें ऑन दैट इज दिस कश्मीर इज बॉइलिंग फॉर मेनी इयर्स नॉट जस्ट 89 द प्रॉब्लम्स आर गोइंग ऑन व्हाट इज द सलूशन नो दिस इज अ पॉइंट वेयर पीपल आर जस्ट वंडरिंग इज देयर एवर गोइंग टू बी अ सलूशन अरेबिया का जैसा देयर इज नो सलूशन इट्स जस्ट गोइंग टू गो ऑ
see i am not an like i will so but this happens a lot don't you want uh, real peace you this is I your motherland where you come from i want peace huh. people should live happily they shouldn't feel the need to go somewhere else but you see very bahut kam aisa hota hai ki log kashmiri log kashmiri ka baat karta hai log kashmir ka hi baat karta hai no no hai. people talk about kashmir 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 have huh. you heard people talk about kashmiris 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 no one says that good point it's always kashmir 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 we want land we want the resources they want land they want the resources तो हमें और उनमें फर्क क्या बताइए हैव यू स्पोकन अबाउट गुड पॉइंट ओके आई अंडरस्टूड बोथ द पर्सपेक्टिव बट व्हाट डू वी डू आई वाज एवरी डे समबडी डाइज आइदर सोल्जर डाइज और सम यंग कश्मीरी डाइज और यू नो पीपल आर जस्ट डाइंग आई मीन देयर इज नो लाइक यू आई आल्सो वांट पीस आई हैव नो सॉल्यूशंस केटिंग टू दैट हेल्पलेसनेस आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग कि शायद इसमें से आई कैन फाइंड समथिंग आई कैन फाइंड माय ओन रिसॉल्व कि व्हाट डू आई वांट आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग टू फाइंड माय ओन ओपिनियंस to find my own ideas to find my own identity through poetry that's why i started writing poetry like i am not a man with the uh, is ramnik singh a, a cynic not the, really the, the poetry is heavy it, it is dark but that see there it's it is truthful uh i am uh, i question a lot but there's difference i think it's a very is thin line uh, what i'm asking you is yes 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 not just for hindustan for the whole okay. world that's right sometimes i think i think I think all artists think loud. Sometimes I feel when I write poems, I think if this poem gets read by someone in Pakistan and by our prime minister and by people in Kashmir who are really leading the whole movement, maybe they'll find. Maybe they want to connect. You know, maybe they want to start to sit and talk. Say, "Yar, bhot ho gaya na, bhi kuch karte hain." For that, we have to allow Pakistani artists here or Indian artists there. Yeah, so that's we have to right. start with that. We have to stop doing that. The artist side problem is a lot. The the recently the recent Nawazin episode which happened it's yeah. very shameful I think it's very it's ridiculous very it's ridiculous like it's very shameful. in his own village it's very shameful truth it's something which is like वो आपकी मतलब अगर दामन होता तो उस पर दाग लगता है लगता है वैसा एक्जैक्टली आई कैन आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड हैपनिंग एनी वे इन द वर्ल्ड एनी वे इन द वर्ल्ड अ गाय गोस बैक टू होम टाउन एंड गेट्स डिसरिस्पेक्ट अ गाय हु इज अचीव्ड यू नो अ गाय हु इज अ बिग नेम गोस बैक टू अ स्मॉल टाउन वेयर ही कम्स फ्रॉम एंड इज गेट्स डिसरिस्पेक्ट इट्स जस्ट मतलब अलग ही लेवल का डबल स्टैंडर्ड है बहुत सिर्फ हिंदुस्तान में या <laughs> सब जगह होता मैं गया नहीं हूं पढ़ा है मतलब पर हमको नहीं लगता हम अपने घर की बात कर सकते हैं दूसरे घर की क्या बात करेंगे हां लेकिन यहां तो हमारे घर में तो है वो बहुत जोरदार है मतलब I like think if you could meet the kids you grew up with let's say one or two of them have crossed to the other side and you know are doing all these things would you think you would have been able to influence them with this kind of poetry I'll and catch and the up with them first first so I want to know what all they've been doing huh. so after that yeah I'll talk to them I would definitely because hum log ke paas pahunch problem ye bhi hai bahut bada ki dusri side ka opinion hum log ke tak nahi pahunchta hai mostly the ornam goswami talking mostly is the yeah. newspaper there's, there's only one opinion yeah, there's only one opinion about the side huh? mostly is the newspaper talking is the news channel talking so वेरी रेयरली ऐसा होता है कि मतलब जो लोग हाँ जो लोग कैमरे में भी जो लोग बोल रहे होते हैं गिलानी हैज मोटिव और लाइक ऑल दिस पार्टी पीपल हो टॉकिंग दे हैव दे हैव देर ओन मोटिव द कॉमन मैन जो लोग वहाँ पे रह रहे हैं जो वहाँ पे कश्मीर की जो जो आवाम है उन लोग का बहुत कम बार ऐसा होता है अगर आप देखेंगे उन वहाँ के लोगों को भी फुटबॉल खेलना है क्रिकेट टीम में शामिल होना है उनके आई बनना है टॉप करना है हैंडी में कुछ करना है म्यूजिक बैंड बनाने हैं सब कुछ करना है वहाँ पे लेकिन हमारा इमेज जो है कश्मीर का वही बन के रह गया है कॉन्फ्लिक्ट टर्मोइल टर्बुलेंस यही 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 आतंकवादी वहाँ पे बहुत छोटे छोटे ड्रीम्स हैं वहाँ पे भी लोगों के सपने पलते हैं वो भी सुबह पैदा होते हैं शाम को मर जाते हैं रमनिक सिंह यू विल बी द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर वन डे इज वेरी क्लियर हाथ दिखाओ इज रिटिन इन योर पॉम इज रिटिन इन योर पॉम आई लव माई होम स्टेट आई विश पीस प्रिवेल्स वेरी सोन बट इन द मीन टाइम यू आर डूइंग योर ओन वे ओन बिट टू पुश पीस एंड नॉट जस्ट इन मुंबई लाइक अक्रॉस थैंक्स टू द इंटरनेट एंड ऑल दैट अक्रॉस ऑल फॉरम्स अक्रॉस ऑल जेंडर्स इन अक्रॉस ऑल क्लासेज ऑफ सोसाइटी सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग ऑन द शो बट बिफोर वी गो वी हैव अ वन सेक्शन कॉल ए Is which we have to do. But Jani, se pehle ek aur chota sa poem. Aha, sure why not? I can take my time. Yes, yes, take your time. Hi, I'm Amit Verma, the host of the weekly podcast, The Scene and the Unseen. In my show, I examine the scene effects and the unintended consequences of public policy and private action. I show how policies meant to help the poor often end up hurting the poor. I've done episodes so far on demonetization, GST, surgical strikes, immigration and MRP and I will continue my forensic assault on the truth in the weeks to come. Catch the show every Monday on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer or visit seenunseen.in for all the latest updates. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, Ranik Singh is going to give us a different kind of poem, slightly off his normal radar. And May, you have to translate it. Oh no! Ready. पढ़ने के लिए वक्त ना होने वाले अफसोस पे पढ़ने से ज्यादा वक्त बिताना पढ़ने के लिए वक्त ना होने वाले अफसोस पे पढ़ने से ज्यादा वक्त बिताना ग्यारह टिश्यू पेपर इस्तेमाल करना और पर्यावरण पे लोगों को गरियाना हर खराब आदत को अर्थ देने के लिए उस पर नज्म लिख पाना रवीश कुमार को सुनना और जज्बाती हो जाना बटेर होती आंखों में क्रांति के ख्वाब देख पाना सुबह तीन बजे फ्राइड राइस खाकर पेट के बल सो जाना और सपनों में कुछ बड़ा प्राप्त कर पाना जीने का बस यही सलीका होता है Are you understood the pain of studying? <laughs> I heard tissue paper and eyes and sleep. those are English words. That's why. Dark <laughs> as eyes. I know some words. I don't know what quab man. Ramni, would you like to explain the poem? Uh, the poet. Well, not explain it, but just vaguely yeah. tell her what it is. It's about cribbing, man, all the time, man. and not doing the real thing. Wow. You waste more time cribbing than studying. For example, yeah. like that. Like. Or worrying about How, studying. Yeah, worrying about worrying studying, studying. studying, and then, then yeah, using eleven tissues a day, like. and then talking about the environment the words are pretty yeah but you understood this point that we just waste time Cribbing. instead of doing what we should do we just waste time thinking about what how we should not do it that's basically the concept that's basically you know as you just crib over <laughs> it, it, it is it is it's it's really like yeah, yeah. so you desirous yeah. okay wait it's ama time ama time ramnik ama do you have to answer this this is not about poetry now anymore okay, what is ama what tell ask me. me anything so Ask any me. question on anything. any subject okay so uh this was actually directed at you ramnik hmm. uh does being a poet make you a better flirt Yes, it is. Ramik, I have heard about this in the that you are a womanizer in the true tradition of great poets of the last hundred <laughs> no. years from across the border as well as you. No, 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 no. That's Nain? not true. No, that's well, not you know what? Well, I walked in here and hugged him. You ran to him like a magnet. He, he just drew you in, and his back was facing you. You didn't even see exactly. You didn't see his front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chalo, sharam aati. Power of your back. Sharam aati. At last, we get getting him to feel a little uncomfortable. No. Exactly. Okay. So, what is the girl scene like? Yeah, you're a poet. Come on. Nothing. I have a girlfriend, dude. Like I'm a. That's the first verse. Second verse, yeah. Kuch nahi. Make make makes me a better flirt. You're saying you you want answers, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Not the explanation. How many girlfriends you got? One. One. That's it. Hey, does she like poetry? Yeah. That's did, good. Did she that, meet that you because be she heard she heard you perform or something? Yeah, I mean, she's a poet herself, dude. When I said perform, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's a poet. She's a good poet. But that'll be that, good, that, yes. that's always <laughs> difficult. I mean, both people have the same. Uh, like, no, 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 no. That's the thing. She writes in different language. So. Oh, otherwise it, it'd be irritating at home, na? Oh, darwaza kholo <laughs> and say hello, hello. I don't know. I'm just everything is rhyming. And, I would love to hear your poetry right uh, now. Oh God, no! I no. totally fall for you if you sing that song. So, what, what's your girlfriend's name, Ramnik? Say hi to her. Sir, quiet. You want to mention? Wow! It? It's a make-believe girlfriend. No, it's a make-believe girlfriend. It's, it's not real. It's a, after a lot of drinks and a lot of poetry, suddenly there's a girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. All right, we won't push it. Next, yeah. next question. Okay. Um, this is from Puneet. So Puneet asks, would you personally spend any money on anything that Shraddha Sala specializes in? So Ramri, I know you don't know who Shraddha Sala. Mm-hmm. She's a clairvoyant. So basically, the uh, palmistry mm-hmm. and astrology yes, yes. and yeah. all this. Would you ever go to any of these people? No. And you don't believe in it? Not at all. I mean, I don't mind a free, free advice, but then no, I don't want to pay. I've yeah. had like I've I've had like my tarot card read. Um, a friend of mine did it, like like paid for it for me, and I've had my palm read and all kinds no, of stuff. No, but palm is a big issue for me because if you hold my hand, then I think I should be paid. <laughs> I'm doing you the service. I'm like you touch me, hold my hand, whatever you know. Poke it down. I touch you all the time. You I do. never pay. And I'm writing the bill. And one day you did it. So be careful. You will invoice me. <laughs> yes, you. You better believe it. Next. <laughs> Um last one what country would you rather be born in Oops controversial question in the times we live in Ramnik ji the camera is getting very close to you now tell me honestly <laughs> yeah. which country would you rather be born in or rather if there's a second country yeah India yeah. being your first choice to be safe what would be your second But I've never been to any other country other than India so I have no But you too hai you seen everything Swiss Alps to Swiss Alps is the same thing If you had to make a educated guess, which country draws you? Oh, France. Yes, France. Paris for sure. Paris, France. He wants to be in France. Oh, well, yeah. Is it true with poetry? No, a lot of artists, right? Like, oh, oh maybe because it's the golden like generation. It's all about the women, you know. Renaissance. It's all about making out and no, it's no, it's all, he's got something else on his mind. No, 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 no. And, uh, Renaissance and the golden generation, the last generation. So many people, man. And also, you can meet a lot of Gujaratis and Bengalis near Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand there. I do Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do. I do. Ah. I can't do the Bengali, so I'm sorry. Ekhane <laughs> yeah. achhe. Yeah, something. Oh, not bad. 
Not bad. You know, good too. I know Bengali. That was Bengali. <laughs> you mad woman. You can't tell the languages all the time. I understand. Yeah. You understand? I wasn't really paying attention. Anyone can tell the language. I kind of got distracted by Ramnik. He's really pretty. Me, you're funnier than me. I couldn't tell you. You're hilarious. I wasn't you're, paying any attention. You're like a United Nations guest here. You know, you're just hanging around yeah. this country trying to figure out who is this, who is this. Hey, people can't even tell the difference between Tamil and Malayalam. So forget that. that, that okay. That's like racism. That's different. <laughs> this is just like a... Difference. I wasn't really paying attention. I told you, Ramnik's okay. really pretty. Okay, forget about that. Plus Which country would you choose? I'm actually quite happy to be Indian. Which country? But second, we, 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 we've already taken the liberty that we prefer first yeah. for safety reasons. Yeah. That we will say the right thing. But second choice would be what? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, oh, nice. Because I like Sri, Sri Lanka. Lanka, they're like the, the way sweet. cooler version of us. Yeah, and very nice yeah. people. Very yeah. friendly. Uh, and Sri Lanka is the civil war like, that was there yeah. and all. But Sri right Lanka, now, like if I say it was Sri Lanka, they're like, oh. Even more yeah. exotic than India. Yeah, I, I like a very good vibe, very good karma in that very country. Very I think, uh, despite of what has happened the last exactly. few years. What about you, Cyrus? I'm a West Indian, bro. I'm from Trinidad, man. <laughs> oh, back to that my is place, a really man. good one. Back oh, in the man. West Indies, man. No work in the afternoon. We <laughs> take a rum and coke. We'll I back with the ladies, man. Huh? Show them a good time and then sing some songs with the guitar in the evening. Huh? <laughs> no more border dispute for me. I stay in Trinidad, man. <laughs> and Tobago. <laughs> <laughs> You like that? I'm impressed. Good choice. A good choice. Yeah, France, Tiga. Yes, France. yes, yes. <laughs> Sri Lanka. Yeah. Trinidad, West Indies. <laughs> All right, Ramnik, thanks a lot for Thank being on the so show. Much, and Thank you so much. And now I'm going to go and follow your poetry. Thank but you. But so please much. perform in South Mumbai. I, I will, I will. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called May. And that's what Cyrus says. And presenting the IVM likes where the IVM staff sit down, hold hands and meditate. They remove their clothes and discuss pop culture, things they like and dislike. All this because life is important, especially when you're lonely. Check out new episodes on our IVM podcast apps. Happy listening, mother f- and fathers. Excuse me, bhaiya. Excuse me. Bole, madam. Menu mein kya hai? Menu mein seen and seen hai. Podcast hai. On course hai. Cyrus says hai. Made in India. Rediscovery project. Empowering series. Sex works hai. IBM likes hai. Simplified hai. Keeping it queer hai. Things and destinations hai. My neighbor Zuckerberg hai. Or the fan garage hai. Aapko kya chahiye hai? Uh, ek baar repeat kar denge kya? Repeat, repeat nahi karta. Hum, aap jao ibmpodcast.com pe aur suno ye sab. Ya fir download karo unka app. Sab aapke ungliyo pe.